my name is Anna Melton. I'm actually doing a video model lesson for Red Oak Junior High for the position of social studies teacher for 7th and 8th grade. What we are doing is 7.2C history. The student understands how individuals, events, and issues prior to Texas Revolution shaped the history of Texas. The student is expected to identify the contributions of significant individuals, including Moses Austin, Stephen F. Austin, and Juan Seguin during the colonization of Texas. Okay, first off, we'll go through. These are worksheets or images I'm going to be using. There we go. There's that one. There's this one. Ah, don't know which way to go. And these. Okay, I have 15 of these. These are letters from supposed colonists applying to Austin for being able to be accepted into his colony. So students come in. Good morning, class. How are you doing? Awesome, I'm glad of that. Okay, now if you look up here on the screen, you see the picture. K2 qualifies as a Texan. This is from a book called Cartoon History of Texas, and it very succinctly puts in what Austin was looking for. If you remember yesterday, we were talking about colonies and everything. Now we're going to dig a little deeper. You know where they're living, but now we're going to look at the individual specifically that the empresarios were looking for. And remember, who can name an empresario for me? Johnny, Stephen F. Austin, Billy, Green Doe Wit. Awesome. Okay, we got a whole bunch of them. We got two right there. Those are some main ones. But we're going to continue on with this because we're mainly looking at Austin today. Now, if you look at this, it says, what type of economy did Austin want? First off, you guys, we've talked about economy. What's our, what is an economy? What does it do? how a colony makes money. It's how money is made. So, Austin, 17, 1800s, 1821 actually. How? How is he making money? Okay, he's getting people to come out, yes. So how are those people making money? Awesome, they are doing farming. What is our key word for farming? Anybody? Cynthia, agriculture. Okay, everybody, that's great. When I say agriculture, what should you say? Farming, agriculture, farming, agriculture, farming. What if I said farming though? Agriculture, good job, okay. So did he prefer families or single men? What was he looking for? Families, why? Donna, more workers, good job. He need, those were more workers, that's built in workers. Those people aren't necessarily gonna up and leave. They're gonna stay there and they're gonna help him build his, his colony. Okay, what types of jobs was he looking for? Remember, we answered one of these with the economy. That's your hint. Yep. Okay. Carlos, what do you think it is? Farmers. Good job. Farmers. Okay, because you need farmers to work in agriculture. Okay, and what's our main economy? Agriculture. Now, if you come to a land that has absolutely nothing, what else do you need? Anybody? Anybody? No? Derricka, what do you think it is? Well, you need somebody to build something? Yes, okay, that's awesome. Artisans, skilled artisans, people that can build homes, help take care of horses and things like that. Those are all artisans, specific things that they can do to help an economy, okay? Now, let's look at this image that we have up here. What does he not want? What kind of individual does he know, no, no? There's three pictures right there with little things. Okay, I heard someone say no profane swears. What does that mean? No cussing. Exactly. Okay. Duh, you guys all do that. I know it. No idlers. What's an idler? Look at the picture. What's he doing? Just chilling back, relaxing. Is he relaxing? No, he's just lazy. Good job. Okay. No suspicious characters. What does that mean? Good. Okay, it's somebody that's going around trying to start some stuff over here. Maybe look like they're trying to start stuff, but those are things that we do not want in Austin's colony. Now let's look at these three things. We don't not we do not want people who cuss. We don't want lazy people, and we don't want people that might cause problems. Where else does that sound familiar? That we don't want that. Who can name it? What about right here at school? We don't want you to disrespect anybody like that. We don't want you to cuss. We don't want you to be lazy, especially. We need you here. We need your minds engaged. We want you here. So keep that in mind. And then also, you know, we really don't want you in trouble. Come on. 
We don't need you to act all suspicious and stuff. So we don't want that, okay? So you now know the type of people that Austin wants and does not want. And if you will notice, you are in groups of two already. What's going to happen is you're going to wander around the room. I'm going to give you guys about two minutes, just so you know. I'm giving you some heads up. What these are are letters from supposed colonists that applied to Austin for admittance to his colony. Okay, these are people that want to come live with Austin. And they say, okay, this is the reason why and everything. This is what we do. Okay, now you're going to use this one. And this is going to go in your notebook when we're done, okay? It's got a list of all the names. So just be aware, you're not going to go in the order, okay? But you've got a list of all the names. Pay attention to who you're working on. You're going to say, yes, you would admit them or no, you wouldn't. And you're going to tell me a reason why. What do they have or not have? that would keep them or allow them into the colony, okay? So we're gonna do one together, so you're only gonna actually have to do 14 of them, okay? So I know that's a lot, but it's really easy, I promise. We're gonna go over one right now, okay? Robert Cooper, on my board, who can read it? Okay, go ahead. All right, they read it. Okay, so would you accept him or not? Who can answer that? Based on the picture that you have in front of you where you answered the questions, would you accept him or no? Billy, you said yes. Why? He already has a farm. And what kind of workers is he looking for? What kind of jobs? Agriculture. Awesome. What else in there? Look at him. Does he seem like he wants to make more for himself? And what happens if he makes more for himself? He makes more for who? Bobby. Austin, correct. If you look, he has a 50 acre farm in Tennessee and he wants to make a bigger one. Okay, he's got dreams. That's a good thing right there. The only bad thing is he's a widower. What does that mean? His wife died. However, what's a good thing about that? He's got five children, five kids that can work. Okay, so there's six people with this one family that can work the land. And these people tended to help each other, okay? So, look at it all like that, okay? He's got, he already knows how to farm. He had a farm, so he knows what to do. And on top of that, he's got built-in workers. That is awesome, okay? So, and if you look, he goes, I was in the Army when I was younger. And I am a disciplined U.S. citizen. That means he can follow laws. He knows how to follow rules. So is that all good things? You want somebody that's going to follow you. Okay? You don't want somebody that you're going to have to be on their back constantly to do something. You want somebody that's going to be like, oh, got to do this, and we go. All right? So you're going to go through, you're going to do this, and then we're going to come back. At the end of class, we're going to do another activity really quick. Okay? They go through, fast forward. At the end. Okay, class, come on back together, get to your seat. Okay, in your notebook, just to close it all out, I want you to write a letter as if you were Austin, or sorry, as if you were applying to Austin, detailing what your home life is like. Now, back, chill out. What you need to do is say what your home life is like. You can make it up. You can say, okay, well, I do this, this, this. And maybe he'd, you'd be one of those people he'd accept. Maybe you'd be one of those ones he doesn't accept. That's all you're doing. Just like four sentences really quick. Write something on your home life like as if you're applying to Austin. Okay? Get it done. We move on. But this was my video model lesson for Red Oak Junior High School, 7th, 8th grade, U.S. History slash Texas Studies. Thank you.